we want to rebalance our university network. We want to rebalance our language uh, policies here in Montreal. And by attracting more Francophone students, by attracting more Francophone to uh, Francophone University, it's a way to rebalance it. Of course. Well, well, then let me ask you it in a different way. Is there too much English being spoken on the streets of Montreal? And is that a concern of yours? Of course, of course. Uh, it's, it's, we have a law saying that French is the common language in Quebec. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm responding to you in English and I'm happy to be bilingual as much I am. <laughs> and it's important in Quebec education system to teach Quebecers to be bilingual. In French system, they learn English. In the English system, they learn French. And I think it's, it's really important. We want all Quebecers uh, to have great opportunities here in Quebec, in Canada, and all, all around the world. But uh, we, don't, we can't be blind. If we, we see the data, it's obvious that the French is going the wrong side in Quebec and in Montreal. This, this, those are facts coming by the federal government. Numbers are there, so we have to move. And you're hoping to correct that by these types of measures, right? We have a lot of measures. We will put a, a plan by the Groupe d'Action pour l'année de langue française. This is a part of a greater plan. But let me be clear also, Rob, I mean, there, there is an issue also with the French in Montreal. So the, the point is not only to put an end at funding Canadians, but also to reinforce the Francophone network, particularly in Montreal. We really need to accelerate the number of students, of Francophone students that we have, and, and those policies or those measures or this new ta tarification model will inevitably help us to reinforce and to, uh, to have a certain progression in the number of uh, Francophone students in our Francophone network. Um, so this is, is clearly also the reason why we're doing this, but it's also to put an end, obviously, at the funding and a public policy that is costly for taxpayers. This is also a thing to keep in mind. I, I don't think I'm penalizing anyone. I think it's a choice we're making. In 1997, we came up with, uh, with that kind of policy of having uh, a tariff at 8992 for the Canadian students. We realized after more than 20 years that most of these students leave. It, it's, a, it's a very costly uh, policy. Again, it's more than 110 million a year that taxpayers pay for students that do not stay here in Quebec that do not work here either in French and that do not stay, they go back to their province. So I think we need to change uh, because of the actual context, because of the actual challenges that we have here in Montreal as well. I think we need to change and we need to start thinking about uh, rebalancing the whole system today because of the de deregulation and because obviously of that policy uh, that uh, brings students here that study for three, four years and then go back to their province to work.